Welcome to another quick tutorial. Um, I created an animation in the past that's gotten a lot of hits where I made a mountain lake out of Dem Earth. Um, and basically that animation um, looked something like this. Um, I used Dem Earth to create the terrain and then I created a um, extrusion um, plane to create some very realistic looking uh, water here that I just placed inside of this um, valley. Um, so to give you a quick idea of what it looked like, and it's definitely not perfect. Um, I believe in this case, what I did was I used the bezier to draw a spline and then I just extruded it. Um, but I think I have a better way of doing this. Since we know that lakes are going to be at one elevation, um, we don't necessarily need to draw a spline and project it into that valley. Um, we can just create a plane, and I think the water surface will look better. Um, in this case, the water surface, you can see that some of the polygons inside of my spline are less than, or less than perfect, but it's covered up by me using this depth of field. Um, so I'm going to go back into the tutorial and what we have here, um, if we just start from scratch, is a Dem Earth object and I've just kind of messed with the area of zoom and then reduced the size a little bit just to kind of you know, work in a smaller area here, but I want to leave, I guess that's Mount St. Helens there. And then in my map loader, um, I'm going to use Google satellite at a level of 14. My internet's been a little bad today, but that's going to give us plenty of detail. And then I'm going to just turn on a physical sky for now, which I ch adjusted some of the parameters. I turned the intensity up a little bit, <coughs> changed the location. So my sun angle was a little higher. It looks like I can do a little bit more of that. And I made my sun color a little bit. That nah, doesn't let you change it in there. So anyway, that's the basis for this scene. And if I just give a preview of the little lake, um, you'll see that I don't have my plane in here yet. So all I have is just uh, everything that I've pulled in from the Dem Earth API. So what are we gonna do here? Well, we are we don't need to create animated water. We do have the ability to use Hot 4D um, if desired. Um, but what we, what we know is this is a flat plane right here. So we're just gonna create a plane. Um, I'm just gonna go in here, I'm gonna grab a plane and roughly just kind of drag it, center it into place over where I know that lake is. And I'm going to reduce the width down to like 150. And then the, the height, which is essentially the length of that lake, uh, is going to be, let's see, where do we start seeing the lake? Okay, we start seeing it about there. So let's go ahead and put it right over our lake, all right? So yeah, we can just do a quick test and as we drop it in, you'll notice that it is doing a pretty good job of filling in our lake. And you know, it's fine if there's a little bit of blue left over, it'll actually look just fine. Um, and then we can always delete these segments here when we're done. Um, but speaking of segments, we do need to up these by quite a bit. So I'm going to start with 200 for each of those. And then I'm going to grab a displacer and just put it underneath my plane. And we need to, under shading, use a noise shader. Um, I'm going to change the scale down to 1%. And that's going to really tighten up the number of uh, displacements we have here. Um, Changing your relative scale doesn't really do a whole lot. It's basically just kind of like you're tiling it. So you don't really need to worry about that. Um, 
but that's where we start. And if we go back into Displacer under Object, we're going to definitely need to bring this height way down, maybe to something like, I'd say like 0 0.2. And now we're starting to see what, we're, what the effect that we want. We got these little bumps, um, some water being created. And let's take our plane and just ever so gently drag it up a little bit. So that's pretty good. Um, obviously we've got a ton of stuff going on in here with as far as the number of polygons that we just created on this plane. There's a lot of crap we don't need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, well, first, before we do that, if we do a quick render here, um, it's not as smooth as I'd like it to be. Um, so what we're going to use is the subdivision surface. We're going to put everything underneath that. And that's just going to do a better job of um, cleaning that up and making it look a little bit more wave-like as opposed to having sharp edges. Um, now I'm just going to, I'm going to connect everything. So I'm going to make that editable. I'm going to select children and I'm just going to connect them and delete. And now if we go over to um, our polygon mode, you're going to see, man, do we have a lot of polygons going on in there, right? So all we need to do now is really just, let's get rid of these freaking things. Um, I've got only select visible elements checked off for live selection. And I'm just going to drag into some areas that I know I don't need any of these. And I'm only getting rid of probably close to a million polygons just by doing this. Um, let's blow that away. Let's blow that away. And this little corner right here we don't need. Probably don't need that either. Um, so it slows down quite a bit when you're in polygon mode, but when you switch back to your um, to your normal model mode, then you're going to notice that it, it speeds back up again. So, yeah, there's our water um, sticking in our valley very nicely and giving us a little reflection. And then, obviously, the thing we need to do last is I'm going to add in my, my water texture on top of this subdivision surface. And now I'm just going to zoom out and find a, a nice perspective here where I've got a nice lake reflection. And let's give it a quick render. And see what we've got. So yeah, I think that looks to be pretty cool. Um, you know, suggestions for making this look really, you know, perfect. I would say it would be best to add even more segments, but then do a better job of um, taking your your plane and getting rid of all the crap you don't need. Um, so obviously, I've still got a lot of plane left. Um, I've only cut out a little bit, and so what you could do is, um, you know, drag this thing into place and. Um, and you could turn off your object here for a second and I could go back into my mode. And I know I don't need any of this stuff over here. So let's just select all that. That's all hidden in the mountains. And I don't need any of this stuff over here. That's all. That's all waste. Feels kind of nice to just chop some of this stuff apart. All of this probably is unneeded. And go back to my model mode here and turn back on my object. And I still got plenty of uh, safe area on either side. Um, you know, to drag this lake into place. But anyway, I know that uh, some of you were curious how I how I did this before. So that gives you an idea of how you can kind of create a you know flying scene here and drift across a mountain lake and get that nice that nice glint. Um, and, and enhance your um, dem earth uh, terrains in Cinema 4D. 
So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe and stay tuned for more.